Hi everyone, I'm so excited to say that I'm with Amelia at Sanctum Wood School and we're going to be bringing Science of Hazel to the lab so we'll be showing you lots of practicals. Amelia is going to introduce herself. Hi, my name is Emilia. I am a lab technician. I work in this school, Sanctum Wood School in Cambridge. I am also STEM ambassador, which means I go in other schools to introduce science to the kids and we have a lot of fun together. I have also an Instagram page, emilia.science, and follow me to see all my experiments and videos. Yeah, you should absolutely follow Thank her. Thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> Hi guys, Amelia and I are back in the laboratory. We're going to be showing you reactions of group one metals, starting with the first video on lithium. Remember that lithium sits at the top of group one. That means it's the least reactive metal. But it's really good for you to see its observations with water because you may be expected to list those in an exam. Okay, so I'm going to take the lithium and because they are stored in paraffin oil for safety reason, I will observe all the oil on filtering paper, like this. I'm going to cut now a little piece. And this is extraordinary. When would you ever say you're going to cut a metal with a knife? <laughs> this is characteristic of group one metals. They're very soft. Look how small that piece is. I'll put some drops of universal indicator because we want to see the change in color. So remember, universal indicator shows you a change in pH. So dependent on the color it turns, we'll know if our solution is acidic or alkaline. It's gone green because obviously water is neutral. So as we can see, the lithium is floating, it's fizzing, it's moving around. The fizzing is hydrogen gas being given off. And notice that the universal indicator has turned blue purple. That shows that a very strong alkali solution has been produced. We're looking at a pH of around 13. And that's actually why group one metals are also known as the alkali metals. So to just summarize using a chemical equation, what's actually taken place is that lithium has reacted with water, forming lithium hydroxide, which is responsible for that change in the universal indicator. And we've also produced hydrogen gas. Beep. 